on the 13th of June 2018, there were serious corruption allegations flying all over social media about a hundred million naira bribe that had been given to Atikwa Bakar by the then Plateau State Governor Joshua Dare, um, by the direct personal admission of uh, the governor, he had given a uh, hundred million naira to Atiku. For this reason, the governor was found guilty and was sentenced to jail time. Um, I needed to know how to what the truth about the allegation was before proceeding. Um, to plan a defense strategy. And so I reached out to my then principal, Atikwa Bakar, via email, asking him, you know, the details of the issue and how to proceed. And so he had told me that in his reply that, you know, um, they, they had, that money had been paid into an SPV. I didn't know what an SPV was, so I asked him. And so he, he, he gave a brief description but since it was obvious, I wasn't quite, um, I didn't have clarity. He put a call through to me on that same day. On my blog, you'd find the phone number that he had used to call me on that day and the number I was also using by which I had received that call that day. And in his call, in our conversation, he admitted to having advised his then boss, President Ulu Shegun Obasanjo, against what he called open corruption. Um, stating that he practiced corruption by stealth or corruption by SPV, um, if you will. Went on to explain in um, further strategy meetings that through those SPVs, he, Atiku Abaka, had set up. Don't forget that he was in charge of the economy and every money, every monetary transactions had to pass through him, you know, and he, they, they had used those SPVs, you know, to fleece, uh, uh, the, you know, Nigerians, using those monies for private businesses, you know, to settle their friends and, and political issues as well. Um, that particular conversation uh, gave me a little insight into the truth about my boss, my then boss, and all of the, you know, corruption allegations against him. It also opened my mind to the uh, knowledge that the reason he's always been confident in defending himself you know, in allegations of SPV by telling Nigerians, show me evidence if you have any against me, is because SPVs, those companies he had set up by himself, had placeholder directors. So nothing could ever be traced back to him directly. That's why Atiku is always confident about corruption allegations. But it also forced me to begin to investigate deeper, you know, the man that I, I was serving at the time. Listen to the conversation between me and him. Excellent, sir. Uh, Mike. Yes, sir. <laughs> How can you ask me what is this TV? Uh, well, um, I don't know what SPV is, sir. And I, I need to be sure before I start arguing um, with these people. Uh, SPV is a special purpose vehicle. In other words, is a, is a company they incorporate to carry out certain, you know, activities. Okay, sir. You see, you see what happened was when we came into, you know, the office and I advised the president against, you know, you know, uh, like, you know, open corruption. Yes, sir. I told, I told him, I, I said, give me three people you trust. Yes, sir. And I will prepare three companies for which they will be the subscribers or rather the directors. Okay, sir. So that, you know, like, if there is any contract that we give, you know, they will act like consultants, you Ye know, yes. and then they are giving a fee. Yes, and sir. that fee is what we now use, you know, to fund the party instead yes. of, you know, engaging open. So he gave me the names of Fashawe, uh, Andy Uba, and the late, uh, uh, this guy, you know, from Borno State, who died in that plane crash. You know, uh, trying to the three of them. Okay, sir. So I now incorporated companies and I put them as subscribers. Yes, and one of the companies was Marine Floats. Yes, sir. So 
when uh, this governor sent a donation to the party now he sent it to marine floats so okay. it was paid into marine floats yes sir you know and the, the one of the subscribers of marine float was otumba uh, fashe you know that that account was very very well investigated by ncc to so see whether you know you know there was any this they found out that there was nothing you know yes, sir. so that was where the 100 million yeah. went to it did not go to atiko abubakar it went to marine float and marine pool float was an spv special purpose vehicle created you know uh as, as a consulting company so okay sir. that was the way i handled it okay you know? sir. yes so uh, that was what I was really tried to, to explain to you. Well, no money was given to Atiku Abubakar. <laughs> it's, it's okay. <laughs> you know, this, as, the, as the time draws closer, they keep coming up with a lot of um, issues, and one, one needs uh-huh. to be able to have a few facts to, to be countering yeah. them immediately. Immediately. Mm. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. I will tackle him later tonight. You know, so, I mean... They should go and check. The money was not paid to Ajipo Abaka. The money was paid to a company called Mar- Marine Float. Marine Float, yes, sir. Yes, which I, you know, and Marine Float was one of those three companies, you know. Yes, sir. So, he, he did so, uh, state categorically that you own Marine Float. I never, there is no way I can own <laughs> Marine Float. If I, let them go and check the certificate of incorporation yeah, yeah, or articles yeah. of association yes, to find out whether I own marine fluid. Okay, sir. Not all. Mm. Not all. Yeah. No problem, sir. Thank you so much, Daddy. I really appreciate it. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Bye.